14 years ago in Kansas City, at Spark in, in Kansas City, I had the great honor of meeting very briefly, albeit very briefly, he was signing autographs and signing CDs, and so I didn't have much time to speak with him. But we kept in touch, and uh, I recorded an album where I did a, a country Gaelic set. Now, in, in leagues of who's the best players, Charlie McCoy's up there, and I told him, it's not in your league, but you might like the tunes. And he got back and he said, there's a slow air in your album, would you be up for recording it and we can use it on my forthcoming album? And I couldn't believe it. I come from the west coast of Scotland, we play Gaelic and pipe music, but there are other influences. And one of them was, in my view, the greatest all-round pop entertainer who ever lived, the great Elvis Presley. And I knew that Charlie had played with him, and I wanted to speak to Charlie, who was Charlie McCoy, who had played with Elvis Presley. And he asked me if we could do this, and I couldn't believe it. It's a beautiful slow air, eh, a beautiful uh, slow air, yes, from Cape Breton Island, Nova Scotia. It was written by a guy who everybody thought was Canadian. He actually was from Boston. His name was Jerry Holland. He, they met him, his father and mother moved to Nova Scotia when he was very young. And it's, in my view, a beautiful slow air. So I hope you like our version as the same one that had been sent to Charlie, uh, Lonesome Eyes. I hope you like